So this is how the Center for Disease Control and SAMHSA and OSHA and stuff determines how um, things affect your mental illness. They send around surveys asking questions about how environmental factors affect your mental health state and how you are doing, such as how healthcare workers and your access to equal services and um, how other people treat you um, affects your mental illness and your um, state of well-being and how your symptoms affect your mental illness. So what mentally ill people should start doing is answering very honestly and actually answering the surveys that get sent to them about whether their services are quality or not and, and whether they're getting um, enough access to their services and they should start writing letters to their Congress representatives and state representatives and to their governor and um, maybe even the Supreme Court justice and stuff and when they write a letter about the quality and if they have equal access to services or if they're discriminated against and um, whether uh, they don't ever get uh, appointments with their social worker, if they never get an appointment, if they never have in-home workers, um, uh, if, they're, if they don't get access to services, uh, write those letters, make a copy of the letter and send it to uh, like five congressmen, your uh, two state senators, your governor, and uh, a copy of the letter to maybe the Supreme Court justice. Uh, send a copy of the letter to everybody, and then they uh, make they they take that data down, and they they record it, and that's how they record whether or not certain things affect uh, mentally ill people, and whether it's environmental factors that are causing your mental illness or only um, your your brain chemicals and, uh, you know, like uh, uh, delta waves and stuff. And uh, then they can figure out if it's uh, people abusing you and maltreating you and discriminating against you also affecting and the quality of your services. And that's why we need to write these avocation letters and advocate for ourselves as mentally ill individuals because people are stigmatizing us and discriminating against us and refusing us services as well as it just being um, physical chemical imbalances in our brain, which is a physical illness, not just a mental illness. Not that we're just crazy like people call us names and affect our mental illness.